Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'd like to start this analysis by first of all thanking you so much for supporting Yoleno TV. It's because of you that our channel managed to hit the level it has hit. Now, to start us off in this analysis again, there's a statement that I'd like to read to you from uh, William Samoyoruto. You are exposing my government to ridicule. That is, angry President Ruto was saying this during today's state today's cabinet session. Mind you, the Kenya Kunza government is facing through litmus paper and uh, test because things are not, things are getting messy. And from what we've witnessed lately, uh, the CSS are not working in cohesion or they're not working as a team so perhaps that's why you find that Moses Kuria was issuing a remark that could have been issued by the, the, the agricultural CS and also there's a part where Aisha Juma issued a remark that was not supposed to be his the remark was supposed to be maybe for the security minister for eternal affairs so that's why William Samaruto in this meeting na kasema kabisa mnaniaibisha mnaniangusha that is the message that William Samaruto sent directly to Aisha Jumwa, Moses Kuria. So it is a leak that during that meeting, the president read the riots act to them so that they conform to what the president intends them to, the way the, the president in, intends to see them operate. So I think he uh, ilikuwa nile swala kwamba Raisa ili kwa mlakani William Samoy Ruto hajapendezo kabisa na utendekaji wa Kuria, tendekaji wa Aisha Juma, tendekaji wa ah wengine. I think walikuwa ni kama CS4 hivi walitajwa wali katika uh, issue hii yote. Sasa unapata kwamba rais aliyeko mamlakani anajaribu kufanya bidii ili atimize yale zile pledges ambazo alitimiza ili ikifika 2027 it becomes easy for him to campaign because mind you like we've always been saying that uh, William Samoy Ruto promised heaven. But you see, it is so tricky for him to deliver whatever he promised. Now he's forced to deliver a hotel to the people. And already there is a crying from all corners. You've seen lately what has been happening with the, uh, with the Rift Valley farmers, whereby some, there was a clip that circulated, whereby there was a farmer who threatened to burn all the maize if the government did not buy his maize in three days' time. So in the wake of all these crises that have been seen, wake of all the insecurity. So William Samuel to convene a meeting and decided to weigh in on this issue of incompetency. And he told the, 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 the CSS directly on the face that mnaniaibisha, you mnaibisha serikali yangu. That is what the president told them. It's been, you know, so many people have been saying that uh, ni kama Moses Kuria atafuto, atakuwa CS wa kwanza kufuto kazi. I saw that in Professor Makao Mtua, he said that the first CS that uh, William Samaruto is likely to fire is Moses Kuria. That is what he said. But it's okay. That is just his opinion. But it, can, it, can, it cannot be. Maybe it's not the truth. It's not what will happen. But it is his opinion. I personally tend to agree with Professor Makom Tua. You know the remarks that, uh, that uh, Moses Kuria made previously at the president? And I think the president was not, was not happy. But to me, I think what Moses Kuria said was okay. I mean, he, he just told the, the people the truth that he GMO it our misa. That was just a honest truth. And I think I agree with Moses Kuria. The only thing is that he was not the person supposed to break that news because he was overstepping on his colleague's mandate, which is not okay. Legally, that is not okay. But then because it's Kenya Kwanza government and all of them appear appear to be newbies in this ministries i think it was just okay for for him to make that mistake because next time he might not make the mistake ladies and gentlemen kindly you share your thoughts are regarding that meeting please i don't have much to talk about regarding this meeting again but if you first time viewer if a regular viewer don't subscribe please just yeah, subscribe to your Leno tv give us a like and hit the notification bell so that every time we upload a video you will always become the first person to get notified once again stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again for our next analysis.